Hello everyone and welcome to my new Binance Tutorials video presentation related to the stop loss and the take profit feature on the Binance futures market. We do have videos related to the stop limit, to the stop losses for the spot markets. It's right there on my YouTube channel. You can find out more information if you're interested with that. But today's discussion, as title says, is related to the futures market. So we're heading over derivatives, which stands for the futures. And we need to go to USDM futures, which stands for USDT. We got to open up a trade and then touch basis with the stop loss and the take profit feature. So I'm going to, you know, close down. Actually, we have a trade running here with the Litecoin that I just did a second ago. And let me just go to the Litecoin page first. So we have a 10x leverage, a little size here going on with a Litecoin. And I wanted to share with you that the place of putting the take profit and the stop loss for position can be found here on the right side of the page where I have encircled, right? So there is the TP, which stands for take profit and the SL that stands for the stop loss for position. In order to activate that, you need to click on this little pen, which will give you a window that you must make sure that it's all set on mark that stays for market order for both right so it's not the last it's the market order this way for sure you're gonna get your order triggered because the exchange is gonna grab the best price existent on the order books for your position so something that is already existing for you to make sure that your volume is gonna yeah, filled up, you need to go with the mark always selected for both. Take profit stands for the times you'd like to take profit out of a size, out of a specific, um, you know, um, at, at a specific price point of the market. It's quite simple. If we got into our trade at the entry price, entry price is represented over here, 55.69. So my take profit needs to be higher than 55.69 in order to function. I'm going to set $58 for my take profit. When the market touches uh, $58, a market order will get triggered, which will give me an estimated PNL that stands for profit and loss $3.31. Uh, when it comes down to the stop loss, I need to set it below my entry price but this is not mandatory folks this is very interesting and you'll see the details here but first we're gonna discover the road when it comes down to cutting the loss right so i got into at 55.69 i'm willing to sell this thing at 52 dollars and then i confirm basically simple my take profit will be 58, my stop loss will be 52. I got into at 55.69. So the only thing that I need to do right now is just to wait and see which one of these two will get touched. An automatic order will be triggered. I don't have to do anything. I can basically walk away for weeks, months, and so on. Do not matters that I'm here at all, right? But there's another thing that you can utilize the stop loss to be closing it in profit and let me share you with that the stop loss do not needs to be closed in a loss it can be closed in a profit as well let me share with you that thing folks so assuming you know the price of the market is sixty dollars we have entered at the price you see it over there 55.69 but the current price is 60 Let's assume that. And I got into $5 earlier. So I want to take profit automatically that I'm going to set at that time at 65 because the price is 60. So I'll take profit at 65. And then I'll set a stop loss at 58. As you can see, both estimated PLs are on green color, they are on profit. So it's quite simple. I'm going to say over here, I got into at 60, right? Which is in the middle. 
if it, the market price is going up i'll get my 65 sold if the price is going down to 58 i'll get it sold as well i got into my trade at 55.69 am i in profit with my stop loss yes because that's higher than my entry price so can you be in profit with that feature as well yes you can be the only thing is that the price when you set it up needs to be higher than your entry price and then your stop loss can be utilized in this form as well along with the take profit as well in that form you can always add it at any time you can always change it at any time right so uh, it, it's simple basically i'm, I'm going to set it at 65 i'm going to put it at a 30 over here confirm and then i'm going to re-click on this little pen and cancel the things that are existent and re-add my new numbers please keep in mind that every time your order is going to hit one of these two your entire size is going to be sold your entire size is going to be sold so this is not a partial selling your entire position will be sold if you want to sell a portion of your size for example 50 percent of my size i have 1.43 i need to click on this specific this is where my quantity of litecoin is so i need to click on that and then i'm going to grab some percentages i'll click on 50 percent so i'm going to have a 0.717 position that i want to close it at 65 for example i'm going to hit the limit order and it will appear here in the open positions that at $65, 0.717 will be sold, basically. It's simple. Uh, nothing has been filled up yet because the price is not touched at 65. When it's touching 65, 0.717 will get sold. This is some additional information, but I'll make a video about this one as well. How to sell partially on Binance futures, how to do not sell your entire position. And for those of you interested in my complete education, one-to-one -one coaching program directly with me, if you'd like to be traders, if you want me to be your mentor, one-to-one -one live conversations, live coaching directly with me at scramblecoaching.com, you have the website describing how does it functions. This is running between four to six weeks for anyone out there that is looking for becoming a serious trader. Feel free to check out the video. And you can qualify for a free conversation with me on 15 minutes where I can describe you how the whole coaching program works, where I'll take you by hand and teach you how to build a successful trading business from A to Z. Basically, this is my passion, been trading since 2014, and I decided to put, put together a private one-to-one. -one. That's where people can learn. I don't think people can become traders uh, from tutorials or videos. You can learn technical things from tutorials, but you cannot trade. Trading is a comprehensive activity. It has to be done in an intensive uh, way of working with someone that is directly taking care about your problems and knowledge. So this is what I personally believe. This is what, you know, quality means in my opinion. Uh, for those of you interested, feel free to check out and I'll get back to you on your email with the offer or Telegram. Make sure to register now for more information as well as for those of you interested, scramblecoaching.com slash today. We have our trading journey for those of you that are uh, in a position where they would like me to trade for them. We have this opportunity. There is no upfront cost. We're just charging a specific percentage out of the profits we achieve. On the left side of the page, we have the trading performance documented since September 2017. And then on the right side of the page, we have the instructions on how to join. That's pretty much all, folks. All the pages and URL, scramblecoaching.com slash today. Meanwhile, the main coaching page is simple, can be found in the description area or a comments area right below the video. A beautiful day, folks. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and there is a playlist about mine and its tutorial videos. There's going to be more than 20 videos here about it, and, you know, feel free to check it out. Have a beautiful time.